Hi, I'm Ken Fries from the Vescor Member Services team and today I'm going to talk to you a bit about your benefits that are payable upon termination and or debt. So we look at termination benefits. It all depends on if you're not vested, vested prior to age 55 or if you're vested after age 55. In that case, your options would defer. Now vested is just a fancy term that means you have a right to a pension at retirement. So if we look at the non-vested termination benefits, uh, so if you aren't invested, basically uh, you would receive a refund of contributions plus interest. Now you can either take that payment in cash, uh, which would be tax, or transfer it to an RRSP, which would not be taxed in that case. So if you are vested, uh, but you terminate prior to age 55, at that point you'd have a few options. We do what we call a termination value uh, calculation. So you could transfer it to a determination value into a lira, a locked in retirement account. Um, now keep in mind, you'd have to make this decision within 90 days of receiving your pension options and you wouldn't have access to the funds before age 55 anyways. The other option you would have would be to defer the, 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 the commencement of your pension at earliest age 55 and latest age 65, but you could start at any point in there as well. The third scenario would be if you are vested uh, and you're 55 or older, you could start your pension immediately. You could defer your pension start date either anytime between 55 and 65, but you need to start your pension at the latest at age 65 in that case. So let's take a look a bit of the debt benefits for active members. Um, so if you're an active member of the pension plan but not vested, at that point uh, there would be a refund of the members' contributions plus interest uh, to the surviving spouse or the beneficiary if there's no spouse. Um, if you are vested, now the spouse would have the option of getting a 50% uh, survivor pension payable for the rest of their life, or they can take the termination value in a lump sum payment and transfer it to their account. Now, if there's no spouse, uh, it would go to a designated beneficiary. And if there's no designated beneficiary, in that case, it would be paid out to the estate. So now we're going to look at the debt benefits for pensioners. Uh, so basically for the, the benefit is basically the, the option that was chosen at the time of retirement. Um, so at retirement, they would have had different options they would have chosen. So it would be paid in accordance of what option they would have chosen at that point. Uh, if you do still have questions about, you know, naming a beneficiary or debt benefits, uh, you know, what pensions are being payable, you can definitely contact the member services team at Vescor at 506-453-2296.